Hi there, welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to make a mutton curry mutton stew. It is an African recipe. Some of Nana's uncles, aunts, friends, parents' friends told it to me and I'm going to take you along on how to make this. But first, ingredients. Okay, of course you will need mutton, oh, it's heavy. You will be needing tomatoes, you need onions, you need garlic, you need habaneros or like hot peppers, and you'll be needing mushrooms, and you need peanut butter. And I have this one specifically, that's all we need. Oh, and of course, salt. We need some more salt. Okay, now that we have gone over the ingredients, we are going to start with the mutton. Starting with the mutton. All I'm going to do is, you just have your pot, you don't do anything. You just pop in the meat like this. Pop in your meat. No, no not that part, no. Okay, there we have it. All your meat is in. Now that all the mutton is inside our pot, we're going to cover it with a lot of salt. We're going to start the fire and put the lid on top. Now that our mutton is in the pot with the salt, we're going to prep the rest. Start with your habaneros, your hot spice. Mm, let's just have four, four or five. So what we do is once in a while, we buy the habaneros and we just pop them into the freezer so that you can use them anytime. So I'm gonna pop these back. All right, so let's get the skins of the onion as well as of the garlic. We are done with prepping our onion, unpeeling our garlic, unpeeling our onion. Now we're going to put all of this inside our pot. Mm -hmm. That smells good already. First of all, you're going to pop in your tomatoes, just full, whole like this, your habaneros, your onions, and your garlic. Difficult because you have to find it back again, so pop it there where you can find it again. And we'll put the lid back on. So now we have the mutton inside the pot as well as the tomatoes the garlic, the onion, and the habanero, so the hot spice. Now I'm going to prepare the mixer, because after this has been into the pot for like 15, 20 minutes, that they're like nice and soft, then we're going to blend it, and we're going to add the peanut butter. Let's now pop everything into this one, and then we're going to blend it. I mean, with everything, the tomatoes, the garlic, the habaneros, and the onions. So it was a bit of a challenge. I know people that can actually, you know, touch this with their hands. I'll, I'll burn my fingers. I can't. But Nana's friends, they just did it with their hands. I'm not there yet, I'm sorry. Hopefully one day. But for now, I'm gonna use my own utensils to get it all out. Normally I would use big onions, but I only had small onions at the moment. Habanero, come. Undo the habanero from its e hot from the top. Okay, we almost have everything. You might ask why I have the tops of the habanero still on. I find it easier to get them off because we are free. We they're frozen. Remember? I think I have everything. So we're gonna pop the lid back on. Don't be fooled, these habaneros are hot, 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 hot. They're gonna give a lot of flavor to this dish. So now we have mixed everything. We're going to pop this back into this one. Everything in. Oh, that is spicy. Now, the peanut butter. You need like half the jar of peanut butter. Mm. We are popping the lid back on for a little bit and then just let it simmer. Let it simmer for a bit and then we're going to add the champions, the mushrooms. Oh, yep, but that is what we want. That is how we like it. 
it is time to throw in the uh, mushrooms. We are done with our mutton soup, our peanut butter mutton soup. All we have to do now is, I'm just gonna leave it on the fire for another 20 minutes, then I'll turn it off, then we will have it with rice, but the first time I had it, I had it with puff, which was quite a cool experience. But we're gonna eat it tonight with rice, and I'm going to update you on how it tastes. Thank you for watching, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Oh, look at this. Nana's plate. I already made the plate for him. I'm gonna warm this one right now, it's mine. I'm going to eat. I made a plate for you. I'm always starting with knife and fork, but then I'll end with my fingers to get everything from the bone. First bite. Mm. It's good. A lot of flavor. Mm, it's a little bit spicy, yes. I've looked on how to grow your pineapple at home. You have to slice off the pineapple crown, use a sharp knife, blah, blah, blah. remove leaves from stalk. I don't know what stalk is, but okay. Allow stalk to dry. Enjoy my love. Love you. Bye. My love is going to his squash practice now. So I made him a plate and when he comes back, I just have to warm it, then he will eat. And now I'm just gonna finish the food. I think this is just a very, very tasty dish. If you have a bit of time, try to make it. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.